what's going on sis it's your girl chloe as me back in the cup with another hygiene video and in today's video your girl is back at it with a sit down hygiene video so if you hear anything in the background just know it's not just me that lives in my house it's obviously my brothers and my mom so there's any, if there's anything in the background do not mind that um but in today's video also do not mind my nail um it came out today but i have to get them done tomorrow also my lashes get done the day after tomorrow but um in today's video your girl is going to be covering two topics that are like so serious to females like two topics that need to be covered more often i feel like when people are covering topics on tiktok they don't really get to like go into detail about things because obviously the limit like the max time that you can make a video is 60 seconds so in today's video obviously your girl always has y'all back when it comes down to hygiene your little sister or your big sister whatever age you are girl i am here for you so for so many years like for so many years i did not know how to properly shave my downstairs area or properly like clean it so I'm gonna be going over how to properly shave your downstairs area without having to go through the painful process of like having um, razor bumps and then I'm also gonna be covering the topic of how to properly clean your downstairs area so that you don't have any odors but the first thing that I do want to cover is that your downstairs area is not supposed to smell like perfume or flowers or roses, vanilla, none of that junk. It's not supposed to smell like that, so please do not expect that. I feel like as females, I feel like even though I say that, I feel like we still all deal with it mentally. Like, oh, you know, you want your downstairs area to smell like flowers and stuff because feminine brands, like stuff like Summer Z, Vagisil, they give us this illusion that that's what we're supposed to smell like. Like, they really mislead us females and that's not how we're supposed to smell. Um, and if... I honestly feel like I'm not saying all because personally that's not how I look at it but I feel like majority of females want it to smell that way because you're thinking about maybe a boy that you're with and you're looking at it sexually and you really shouldn't look at it that way this is about you this is about your feminine health obviously I do not promote fornication or anything or anything of the sort but if you're going to be with someone they are still not mature if that's how they're thinking men know that that's not realistic but now that we have that out of the way let's go ahead and hop into shaving first so personally my favorite time to shave and also i'm going to say this right now if you are not comfortable with shaving and if you honestly just do not like shaving or if your parents do not allow you to shave go ahead and skip past this little shaving part because i'm going to tell you this right now i barely even like it like i barely i just be like girl what like it's so natural but obviously i still want to help you guys and teach you guys how to properly do it if you're going to do it um but it's not something you should feel bad about if you don't want to like we should not bash females for not wanting to shave their downstairs area it's super natural and that does not mean that they have a smell because they don't shave that's not it it doesn't mean that they're dirty it doesn't mean anything of the sort so Get that out of your get that out of your brain if you feel that way. Anyway, so my favorite time to shave is like at the end of my bath. I'm gonna tell you guys this right now, and I've said it a million times. Taking a bath is gonna make you smell so much better than if you were to take a shower. They're a little bit more work to me personally because I have to clean out the bathtub, then run the water, then add the stuff, and then like add your bubble bath or whatever, your apple cider vinegar, because apple cider vinegar is amazing to add. Um, it really eliminates odors. It's honestly just a process but i really do suggest it but the reason why i say that's my best time to shave is because your hair follicle has been softened up so like i feel like if you just go right into shaving you will experience a little bit of discomfort with with razor bumps and stuff like that so personally i feel like shave at the end of your shower or at the end of your bath but you do not want to just jump into shaving your downstairs area you definitely want to exfoliate prior to um it's going to give you a smooth base and it's also going to help with razor bumps and it's going to help you have a smoother shave you know a closer shave as well your hair is not going to grow back as fast i've noticed that if you exfoliate before you shave your legs your armpits and your doctor's area your hair is not going to grow back as fast exfoliating gloves the best thing ever because honestly sometimes i'm not going to hold you guys up i do use my little tree hut scrubs but they're honestly just not good to have down there because they're so fragranced like they have so much fragrance in them um and also you don't want to get any beads like any of those like scrubbing beads the sugar scrub or whatever you don't want to get that sugar downstairs in your downstairs area in your actual whole part which is actually called the vagina but a, but a lot of people get that mixed up um your whole entire downstairs area is not called the vagina it's the actual whole part so when people say do not clean in side that's what they mean but anyway we're not onto that right now you want to go ahead and exfoliate first with your exfoliating gloves and then for so many years i thought that you were supposed to use like a conditioner um a shaving cream um no girl you are only supposed to be using like a coconut oil coconut oil is the best thing to shave with i'm telling you and a men's razor 
Okay, so I've been hearing people say men's razor for like three years straight now and I never really tried it because I just felt like, girl, it's not that deep. Like, every razor is going to work. No. No, there is a very big difference in men's razors um, as opposed to women's razors. I don't know why they're doing this like this, but men's razors are way, 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 way better. They really eliminate razor bumps. Like, they really help you with razor bumps and coconut oil. This dupe right here is amazing. So, first of all, I'll go ahead and get some coconut oil and rub it on my downstairs area everywhere that has the hair. And let it kind of sit there for a little bit so that your hair can get softened up. And then, another thing that nobody wanted to tell me is that let's say this is your downstairs area. Area, you do not want to shave up please oh my gosh for so many years I was doing that that is the worst thing that you can do and the reason why a lot of people feel like they're supposed to do that is because it's smoother that way but you're just gonna end up being so uncomfortable like that is the worst way to ever shave your downstairs area go downwards do not and I repeat do not go up please go downwards shave in the direction that your hair grows which is going down do not put a lot of pressure a lot of pressure can also give you razor bumps and it can also make you very uncomfortable so just shave downwards and side to side side to side once again no pressure and with aftershaves and like my favorite oil to use I'm gonna go ahead and say all that after I get done teaching you guys how to clean your downstairs area because you don't want to hop out of the shower and you haven't cleaned your downstairs area Okay, so let's cover cleaning it first. Now, with cleaning your downstairs area, my favorite thing to clean my downstairs area with is a baby washcloth. I'm telling you guys, it is super effective, and I use the harder side. It's not even hard, it's not even rough, because it's for a baby, but I use the rougher side. Um, I get mine from Target. These are my favorite baby washcloths, hand down, hands down. Um, I guess I'm not really a, a big fan of any other baby washcloths, but if you can get your hand on just any baby washcloth, it's way better than having to use a rag, because um, that's just a little bit too rough. And then if you want to use your hands, like if you just do not like scrubbing with the baby washcloth or a rag then your hands is fine <clears throat> I just feel like it's not as effective and it will not keep you as fresh as if you were to use a baby washcloth and I really do suggest using a non scented or a mild scented soap so I am super serious about this because no I am not bashing females that use summer's eve or use vagisil and please you either if somebody comments and, send, and says something about how they use summer's eve or vagisil you have no right to tell them what to do with their body if that works with their with their body that's okay if that works for them that works for them that is totally fine um I do believe that everybody is different so that is okay i have gotten emails like people are just like girl please do not be telling people that it's okay for them to use that stuff and i'll reply saying i'm never gonna tell anybody to not use what works for them but my favorite um thing to use for my downstairs area is baby dove all of the baby doves i love all of them they even have a chamomile one like a nighttime one and i've never had a problem with that either it is a little bit more scented than um, the Dermacare. This is the tear-free um, oatmeal one. I have the um, moisturizing one. They're all pretty moisturizing. And then I have the fragrance-free one. And I also really do like the chamomile. But all of the baby doves, I absolutely love. They are all super amazing. I've never gotten any irritation from them. They have not knocked off my pH balance. They have done nothing bad to me but keep me fresh all day. Personally, what I really suggest for you to do is get a good amount. I honestly put a whole lot of it on there. I don't really scrimp with it because I feel like I want to make this make sense. So let's say you only put a little bit of body wash on your washcloth and you're scrubbing your body. It's going to be a little bit more rough because it's kind of just like washcloth to skin. But if you put a lot of soap, you know the difference between if you put a lot of soap and a little bit of soap. It feels much better because it's not so rough. That's what I'm talking about with the downstairs area. So I do honestly put like seven pumps on my washcloth and then I will put my leg up on the side of the shower I will squat down and I will scrub my whole entire downstairs area just not the whole I will just scrub 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 get it all clean I'll go for a little while like 30 seconds then I'll rinse it out and do that again make sure you're propping your leg up on the side of the shower squat down and clean 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 now a lot of people also say do not clean your actual whole part personally for me I do cleanse it with water that's just personally me I don't I'm not gonna sit up here and say that you should but that's personally what I like to do is just plain water no soap just plain water and I have had no issues with that now after I get done doing all of that now I'm shaved and now I'm all cleansed now I'm about to go ahead and hop out of the shower
I have mentioned this so many times on my YouTube channel, this mistake I used to make so much back in the day. When you get out of the shower, um, do not use your towel to dry yourself off because there's bacteria on that. Personally, what I like to do is I get a paper towel, I squat down, and I dab. Do not use tissue because the tissue is going to come off on your downstairs area because it's so thin. I get a paper towel and I dab, dab, dab in the inside, not the actual whole part. I just don't feel I need to do that. So, I fully dry it off. And then I add. Well, actually, if I'm shaving, then I'll go ahead and I'll go in with my um, aftershave. This is my favorite one. I get it off at Amazon. It really, really, really does work. And it is the Intimate Area Ingrown Hair Shaving and Waxing 10% Ultra Relief Concentrate. It is bump eliminating pads, and they are infused with salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and Simphor oil. I really can for. I'm not really sure, but I really do like these. And then this right here is a part that I. It's optional, obviously, but also. If you don't have this, just go ahead and use some coconut oil um, because it really is going to help with ingrown hair. I have noticed that if you do not moisturize your downstairs area after you get done, you know, shaving, that can also um, allow access for razor bumps or whatever and ingrown hairs. So anyway, I found this off of Amazon. I have put my mom onto it and I have told my sister about it. This helps with bacteria, bacterial vaginosis. It helps with your pH balance and it helps with yeast infections. But it also really helps with keeping your downstairs area so fresh when I tell you. When I put this on, it'll smell all the way to the next day. It is fragrance free because it is an all natural product. It has coconut oil inside of it and it is fragrance free. But it smells like lemongrass because they have all natural oils in it. Like it's all natural. They haven't added any fragrance to it. But it has a natural fragrance to it. So it smells like lemongrass. I put this all on my downstairs area. Even my behind to keep it fresh, 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 fresh. And it'll really last all the way until like the next day. Like I'm so serious. This really, really, really helps with all of that kind of thing. Bacterial vaginosis, yeast infections, pH, um, razor bumps. And keeping you fresh all day. It really eliminates all odors it is so 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 amazing and it is the new life naturals feminine natural oil blend super 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 cool i absolutely love it my mom absolutely loves it it works so 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 good and i actually bought that off of amazon along with the um aftershave pads now that is basically everything that i do but you also want to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water in a day you really want to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water also your diet and also taking baths when i tell you taking baths really eliminates odors i'm, I'm so serious because for females, for females, we have to soak sometimes. We have to soak in that warm to hot water. We have to soak. Soaking is the key to also having a very fresh, healthy downstairs area. And that is my feminine hygiene routine all in one for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and head up out of here though because I don't want to hold you guys too long. I also have some things to do. But your girl's going to go ahead and head up out of here. God bless you all in Jesus' name and it's time for me to go.